Hey, here we are looking at how we might go back several rows in our knitting. Um, so here we've got just a piece of sample knitting. But let's say we've done this and we've realised we've gone ooh, three or four rows too far. Um, or we've, we've missed on the pattern and we need to pull it back quite away. So one thing you can do is use a thinner needle um, to pick up the stitches where you want them and then you can pull them back safely so I'm just going to show you how to do that this is um, these are size six needles that I've knitted on again my open weave so you can see the stitches more clearly uh, and this is a I think that's a three and a half it is a circular needle on a nice long thread which is actually really great because these are kind of flexible to pick up with but you can absolutely do it on a straight needle you don't have to have circular needles to work with so what we're going to do is we can pick up we can start either side um, but I'm going to start this side uh, which if, so if you're doing a straight needle you'd want to do this way so we look and say well let's assume that this is the row that we want to pick up so what we're looking at is here is the um, here's the first stitch on the edge and we want to pick up the right hand bar of the stitch um, so we then we pick up that and then we look for the second stitch and again we're picking up the right hand bar of the stitch and we're just going across picking up the right hand bar so actually as you go across the row it's every other um, every other thread in effect can you see that we're doing it mm -hmm. so we've got a nice little woo -de -boo. Not too many. Didn't think about how many stitches we, we have when we did this. Piece of knitting, <laughs> yeah. we? <laughs> well, it might have been good, but never mind. It won't take too long. No. We'll just have to have a little chat while we go. If we get really boring with our chat, you could always edit the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here we go. Nitty, nitty, nitty. So, oops. There we go. So one thing I've thought about the reason to be doing this on a circular needle, of course, is that if you've actually got your knitting the wrong way round, which we might do because I didn't check how many rows we've gone up, um, this actually works very well for... Am I getting on the right thing? Yeah. Um, you can actually knit it off either end, is what yes, I was going to say. So off. circular needles are great for this kind of activity. You can also use a darning needle and a piece of scrap yarn. Yay, that's a good idea! Darning needle and a piece of scrap yarn. Yep, anything to hold the stitches. Yep, you just um, want to nice hold and the firm. stitches and then you can just push your needle back in through them, the, the, yeah. the needle that you were yeah. using to knit with. Oh, great. So it'd be like a little rescue yarn or something yeah, that you're catching onto. Yeah, it's like you're putting onto. A, a rescue line in after the fact. Yeah. And then we get down to the last. So do make sure you get right to the edge. And this last one, of course, they look slightly different, but we want a stitch. If you're not sure which is the left and right hand bar of your stitch, don't let that bit worry you. Just get one bar of it. Because as long it as... <laughs> exactly. You can always turn it round, but if you missed it, you could drop something. But anyway, there we go. So I've pulled that through. Look, it looks like a little thread. It's quite pretty, actually. It does look very pretty, isn't it? It's because it's a nice <laughs> red chia goo cable here. Um, so there you are. You can see that we've got one bar of every stitch worth having a look at. And on the back, That's it. Well, you, can, you can sort of, but you see, you can see there. Look, you've oh, got yeah. one bar one on bar. every stitch. Um, so what we can do now is take out our top needle, and pull it all back. Yeah, oh, this is the get fun it all in bit. A tangle before you yeah, don't worry about the again. tangle. We won't show that on the video. Doopy doo, and um, oh, you can't get it back. And if it look, what's happened here? Oh, look, we actually Did you move a row. You I moved, moved a row. row. <laughs> look, I moved a row. So, but you see, this is the good thing: is it stops coming back like that. Um, so here we'd have to slide them onto another needle. Oh great, that sort of went a bit wrong a bit then as wrong. a demo, we didn't it? Again? I don't know, <laughs> we could either start again, but then I'm going to knit a bit more. Oh. oh dear, but never mind. I mean, clearly you you've got all your stitches are nice and secure. So actually what we could do, let's, let's do it. Um, I tell you what we could do. Look, here we are. We'll save it. We can always save this. Everything's saved. Look, that one's the wrong way around, so I'm going to twist that one. I'm going to take it off. Whoops, there we go. Bidding, bidding. So we can slide them onto here. Uh, and then slide your other needle on the other side. Yeah. I see what you're doing now. And then just knit those last few. So this is a way to save it. Yeah, and this is what happens if you skip a row as you were going. So it doesn't really matter. It's all okay. So what we're going to do now is we slide that back. 
so what we've got there is we've got some stitches on there. If I turn that round, we're on a purl row. See, there's my working yarn. There we are off there, and I can carry on knitting that off. And all is recovered and well. Remember when you're knitting off, it's always great to pick up stitches on a smaller needle and you can always knit them off a smaller needle. You can, you must knit them onto the right, the right gauge of needle, but knit them off anything you choose. It's all fine, it doesn't matter. So quite happy as as knitting these. As, well, if they're not bigger, it won't <laughs> fit. That's the problem. Um, so yeah, here we go. Da -da -da. You get the idea. But I think we is... saved that quite quite well. I think that was an excellent <laughs> save, wasn't it? And it shows you what happens if you manage to miss your row. Absolutely. That could have been so. deliberate, couldn't it? Oh, it could have been. Perhaps we should pretend it was. But nobody <laughs> believe us now. No. We've, um, we gave the game away. You see, this is real. This is real and live, folks. We don't plan these. We just <laughs> go for it. There you go. Look, all Beautiful. recovered. Four rows back. Beautiful. Well done. Hey, hey. <laughs>